All right, here we go again. <coughs> this is like the 20th take, guys. Okay, hello everybody. This is Generoni Pepperoni. I I have done this so many times. I I just I'm not used to this. Okay, I'm usually behind the camera. You'll you'll notice that the few times I have appeared, I don't talk. <laughs> Anyways. Hi everybody, it's been a little while, I think it's been like a month or so. <laughs> Apparently all my orders that were scheduled for May have been moved over to June, so now my June orders are all horrifying. Uh, because I have a lot of scales and they're all worth more than $100. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Anywho, <laughs> today I come to you with a figure that is not my own again, because everything has been pushed to June. So I actually kidnapped a figure that belongs to my boyfriend. My boyfriend and I are both in the hobby and so I kind of take the liberty of doing this every once in a while. You'll probably have noticed that with my previous video, those figures were also not mine. They did belong to him. My boyfriend is what we call a bunny collector in this community, which means he mostly connects, <laughs> collects one fourth statues of characters that are normally put into bunny suits and these characters tend to be made by the company called freeing i myself don't collect them because they are very expensive but like i said i have brought someone here today to show you guys because i think she looks great so without any further ado let's bring out veronica <laughs> She's actually only one of four original character figures from Freeing's B-Line. For Veronica's box, we don't really have much going on. We have a nice pale blue color. We have pictures of her figure on the sides as well as on the back. I do enjoy that Veronica's name is typed in this old English typeface. Right from the box, it gives her a very classy, elegant appearance. So let's take a look at her full body. Right away, the first thing that caught my attention in this figure were her boots. These are very different. Usually the bunnies in this line will have a simple closed toe kind of heel. At the bottom of the heel, it's actually dual colored. So we got this nice dark navy color at the top, but then at the bottom of the heel, we have this grayish color. The second part of the design that caught my attention the most would have to be the hat. The hat gives this figure such an interesting look. The only piece of this figure that you actually have to assemble is the gun. And really there's not much assembling, you kind of just fit it into her hand and you're good to go. Other things I enjoyed from this figure was the hair. I love that little braid she's got going on in the back. I think freeing with this original character design was trying to make her look maybe like a sergeant or an officer, maybe in military. You could also perceive her to be like a police officer. Above all else guys, if you're into size, this girl is for you. Veronica is kneeling and she is still 13.65 inches. Even placing her next to another bunny figure from Freeing, she still looks huge. A kid is 1.6. Even 1.6 is considered pretty big for a scale. So truly I hope I'm getting to you just how big Veronica is. I'm super satisfied with the way she came out. It's hard nowadays for Freeing to kind of screw up. I feel like they're one of the more premium figure lines that we see in the industry. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry for the wait. I'm hoping that June will give me a lot more opportunity to make more videos. I have a bunch of orders coming in. I'm actually pretty scared for my wallet, <laughs> although I'm super glad for my channel. Uh, anyway, hope to see you guys there. Thank you again for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this little review.